Hello and welcome to another episode of Ezoic Explains. I'm Whitney Wright and today I'm going to be talking about how niche websites should approach authority topics. A lot of publishers often have questions about starting websites in specific niches because they are worried they may not be able to rank, make money, gain authority, or even know what niche to start in. Some of these concerns are warranted, as Google has specifically come out and said that topics in Your Money, Your Life, or YMYL, queries will be given more weight in their ranking algorithm factors around E, or expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. The impact of these measures was strongly felt over a year ago during the Google Medic update that strongly impacted health-related content sites and has made some of these subjects more intimidating for publishers. You may ask yourself, is it worth to start a website in a niche covered in YMYL? The answer is ultimately yes. If you can write more comprehensive and authoritative content than what is out there, there is no reason you should not write content on any given niche. If you are an expert in a subject, you shouldn't concern yourself with if you can rank or make money, if you can provide in-depth information that is better or different than is already out there. Additionally, if you're not an expert, you can heavily research topics and write in-depth and comprehensive information. This would also allow you to link credible sources, which would give you a better chance of ranking. To start, you'll want to look up your niche content and see what other content is already ranking. For example, let's say I'm an expert in bikes and I want to write on the best bike for commuting. I can see that there are multiple articles on this, but no video results. This could be a good opportunity for me to create a really comprehensive video on commuting bikes that could potentially rank at the top. As for the articles, I would want to read through the content and see what gaps I could fill in that aren't being discussed in the article. Maybe there are no videos or a lack of pictures, or could use some infographics, or maybe it doesn't have any links. This particular article doesn't go into excessive detail about each bike, but just gives an overview. Where in this content do you see that you could do it better? What you can also do with this content is analyze it and see what Google believes this content is about. You can do this by going to Cloud Natural Language. Copy the content from one of the ranking websites and paste it into the Natural Language API demo. This allows you to analyze the text and see what entities are listed in the content. Enter your own content in and see if Google believes your content is about what you think it is about. You would want to make sure that your content covers similar entities to the other content currently ranking and consider what areas they aren't so that your content can fill in those gaps. A health-related example is if we research intermittent fasting. We can see there are a few high-ranking articles from Healthline and Harvard, but once again, there are no video results. If we go over to video, we can see some results from some lower authority sites. A well done video on intermittent fasting could have the potential to rank on that first page. Health and fitness and YMYL topics are harder to rank for, but it's not impossible. If you have done a lot of research and include citations and get links, there is no reason you shouldn't start a YMYL or a website in whatever niche you're interested in. Beyond if you should even start a website in a specific niche, you might also be wondering how you could find a niche that pays well. The answer to this is there is no right or wrong answer. How much money a particular website earns all depends on its audience. For example, you may have a gardening site that makes $15 RPM. There may be another gardening site that's making $5 RPM. It is impossible to know if a certain niche is going to pay more or less because it all depends on your content and your audience. No specific niche is guaranteed to make a certain amount of money because everyone's content and audiences are different. Looking at search queries, we can see how this may be true. Different queries are making varying amounts of money. Looking at Ezoic's big data analytics, we can see that for this site, its average EPMV is $15. But many of its top search queries have to do with patents and make much higher than that average. And this is true for all sites. There are certain queries that a different site in a similar niche may be ranking well for that this site is not. That is why it's unreliable to believe that a certain niche is going to make more money or not, or to compare your revenue to a similar site. Publishers shouldn't focus on specific categories to write on, but instead focus on the queries within those categories. Ultimately, publishers should stop focusing on if a niche makes a certain RPM or what niche will make you the most money. Realistically, the thing you want to focus on is, can I create expert content or not? Do research on the niche you want to write in, whether that be YML or not, and see where you could fill in the gaps or write more comprehensive information. Consider how you can differentiate yourself from what else is out there, and if your content is thorough and it has authoritative links, you're likely to succeed. And that's it for this episode of Ezoic Explains. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our playlist. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube at ezoic.com and ezoic.com blog. This has been another episode of Ezoic Explains.